I'm Jodie from Jodie Bean Consultancies and this is my video on how to tie a bay dye. They get referred to a lot of different things at the moment, but on average, if they've got a double barrel, then normally one of these. I'm going to take my waist of my um, carrier and I can either pop it around this way or I can flip it and pop it on this way. It's a personal preference, I like to tie it this way. I'm then going to tie it off behind my back. I'm going to knot it one way, and then I'm going to knot it the other way. And this is just going to hold it in place while I'm tying. The waistband won't do anything by the end of the carry. So now I'm ready for my baby. Hello. I'm now going to bring him into the position I want him in. I want his pelvis nice and curved under. I've got a bit of fabric in front of him. I can then bring the panel up his back and pop the straps over my shoulder. <laughs> I'm then going to get the straps as far back as I can. Supporting him with one hand, I'm going to come across one hand, miss one, grab one and pull downwards. I have helped it a little bit by using my shoulder and I'm going to come round underneath his bottom and hold. I'm now free to do the other one. So opposite hand is opposite shoulder. Again I can give it a little bit of a help. Come round my back and under his bottom. Now here you have two options. You can go over leg or under leg, completely up to you. I go under leg and just give him a bit of a wiggle. I want to make sure that the fabric is to his knee pits and not shorter or longer. If it's longer, his legs will be held up like this and it won't be particularly comfortable. And equally, if it's held here, the weight might not distribute quite as, quite as nicely as it could. Once I'm happy with my positioning, I'm going to come round and tie off behind my back. Again, one way and then the opposite way. Now I've got my baby all snuggy. Is that yummy?